This should be a fun bit, Nav. We're going for some uh, rapid time. Get Straight tipped under the log, get ah. washed out the boat. No, she'll be right. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not the way we want to go down. Oh! <laughs> you are joking! I'm so mad! Hello, right, g'day guys, welcome back to the ultimate little remote Barra Camp up in the Northern Territory. Love, it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be epic. A beautiful little spot out of Maroke Station. Hook them up. Let's go. Barra time, baby. You definitely can't miss that side. Nope. Maroke Station. We made it. So a little bit of a punch out of Catherine. Uh, they do run a hunting safari here, which uh, we are no, not, not doing, do but uh, we are out here for one reason. Hunting barra. Hunting barra. So we're going to go and have a crack at getting the elusive barra. This it, place fires yeah, with barra, that's but what he reckons. it's very, it's been cold. The last couple of days it's heated up, so hopefully that's woken them up a little bit. We can hook onto a couple of freshwater barra. Fingers crossed. So we're going to get in there, we're going to try and find the team now. And uh, who knows what else we'll get up to out here. But uh, I tell you what, we are going to do one really cool roast cooking segment, which I'm excited about. Yeah. Cooking again, but this will be slight, slightly different, so I'm excited about this. Let's go. Let's go on the Hello, so we've just caught up with Lauren and the uh, Tribe, the tribe, <laughs> all the boys, all boys. Yeah. Um. So they're they're punching out where the draft camp is tonight. We're gonna sneak down to a little fishing spot. Yeah. yeah the mate's got a little uh, secret camp down here, so we're gonna go down camp there for the night. See if we can catch some barras, and then nice. we, yeah. The next couple of days we we'll go head up. See if we can jump in the yard and see some of the cattle in the uh, when they get them all in. Yeah. yeah they're currently mustering, so. We'll let them do their thing and then um, yeah, we'll sneak up later in the week. But it left the right time to find camp. If, we, if, if we we're not find lost, them. are you lost yet? Yeah? It's left the right. Right, we just pulled up. Uh, we can hear the rapids down there. Lauren said that it's a good spot for barrows. She actually said the thing is. The first person to cast, and then we'll get the barra, and then that'll be it because it's only one barra that normally sits in there. So. Oh. That's gonna slow you down, eh? Oh, that's gonna slow you down. Quick first cast. set up just before the sun goes down we'll have that little afternoon fish um, as the sun's dropping what a day well done navi happy for you at least we got one barrel that's, that's it one and a half one and a half can't <laughs> believe i dropped it 
Oh well, let's get out of here, eh? Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Rocked up the little camp. Oh yeah. We we'll go for a little wander and have a sus, but uh, looks like a good little spot. Sun dropping down over there. Oh, gorgeous! Check it out. Wish it didn't look so inviting. You just want to go for a swim. Nav's on uh, hole digging duty. We're gonna bury a roast tomorrow. Bit of a hungy style. Rocks in the bottom. It's really hard ground, so it's gonna be interesting because we don't have the best shovel. But rocks in the ground. Um, chuck the roast on. Disappear for the day. Come back. Pull it out. And hopefully she'll be delicious. But yeah, she's gonna be a lazy arvo. This country out here has a lot of holes naturally. So I'm gonna try and use a natural hole already, which I've found, and we'll clear around it and drop something like this here. It's a bit of a sink, a bit of a sink hole for when the water causes the collapse in. So I can actually dig that out and get a pretty big hole out of that without having to work too hard. Done. It's only about a two kilo roast so I don't need it uh, very big. I'm gonna go collect some rocks now. I'll drop those rocks in there and then we'll um, create a fire on top of those rocks. Things like that. About 10 of those will hold enough heat to, to cook that roast. Righto, so what I'll do is I'm actually gonna put these rocks in the fire that we have tonight because it's gonna be in a separate location to where we're gonna bury the roast. So I'll put them in tonight. That way they can heat up and then when we go to transfer them into the, the hole tomorrow, they're already hot. Then we'll light another fire on top of them to heat them up, nice red hot, and then use the coal and the rocks to then put the roast in with and bury it alongside. You just gotta be aware when using rocks in fire um, that they don't blow up, many rocks do. So when they have moisture in them, apparently the moisture that's trapped inside can cause it to yeah, go bang. It sends rock everywhere. So just be aware of that. All right, I've got the rocks. Just um, where do you put the firewood? I'll go and um, put this next to that. Yeah. There's firewood everywhere, mate. Oh, you haven't even started yet. <laughs> Completely useless. Mate, I'm getting the playing, shot. Playing with his toys. <laughs> just sussing out all the barra snags, mate. <laughs> exactly. On. Well, I'm here collecting rocks to keep us alive. <laughs> keep us alive. To make sure we don't starve to death. All right. Matty's idea of lighting a fire is just keep putting grass on until it lights up. That's not true at all, look. That's it's because you put a coffee cup under there and, and somehow... What's wrong with putting a, a coffee cup, mate? I'm, I'm taking rubbish <laughs> and I'm burning it. half an hour trying to lock the damn thing. <laughs> Ollie's off looking for rocks. I collected all the wood. You didn't collect any wood. Lit I've just fire. collected it as I come back you just, now. You just... You're making a fire or smoke signals, mate? Yeah, well, we're going to need rescuing after this effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Fire's roaring. Nice little timber stack. Got the hammock set up. Just kick back and watch the sun go down. Absolutely no reception here, which is the biggest bonus. Three days out of range. Oh, gotta love it. We're probably gonna bang up Oregon Mackie again, eh? We gotta eat that. Yeah, we'll I don't get, wanna waste it. We can't put it all in the freezer, so we'll try and eat, get through as much of that as we can. I'll cook a little Mackie salad. Yep, done. And then we'll do the roast. Show you how to do the, we'll roast, do the roast tomorrow. tomorrow. Cause so we're gonna do that in the morning. We're not gonna show you cooking mackerel again, so. <laughs> so that's about a wrap, mate. Let's enjoy the afternoon. See you See in the morning. morning. <laughs> guys we're interrupting this episode to let you know we have got the biggest giveaway in explore life history you want to win your very own patriot x1n now's the chance we've been traveling around australia for three months with this one and we're going to give you guys a chance to win your very own brand new 2022 patriot camper uh, we want to give back for all of you guys following along and supporting the online store so this month grab anything from the online store every single items and entry guys and you might be taken home a brand new Patriot camper. Don't miss out. What a beautiful little morning, beautiful mate. Morning. All right, now we start the fire, and they got the rocks in the bottom. Start the fire, heat them up. Yeah, meanwhile, I'll marinate the roast, wrap them all up. We'll get that ready to go. Yeah, we'll Probably have a morning coffee. Quick pack down, because uh, I just went for a quick flick. Second cast, little black brim. The boat ramp's just there, so. We'll go. So happy you didn't get a barra. I mean, I'm so I feel so bad that you didn't get a barra. <laughs> Let's get this roast on and then just to 
cruise. Done. It's just going to be gorgeous just cruising oh, no down. No wind. Just... Nah, it's magic. Oh. Frothing. All right, it's still nice and hot, which is good. I'm going to put them straight in the hole. Right, we've got a, uh, just a blade, blade roast. Simple, you can do rump with any side roast you like. It is small, so we're gonna have to be very careful with the amount of heat we're gonna put in it, but hopefully it'll be all right. So what we do, we've got some all-purpose, we've got some chili flakes, some chives, a bit of salt, and that's pretty much all you need. We just wanna cover the outside of this. So do baking paper first. The baking paper will just help it give a bit more protection from the coals burning through the outfoil um, at the end there. And then when you're going to shovel it out, you might accidentally punch it through the outfoil. So the, the baking paper just gives it an extra layer of protection. So literally fold them up like a present. Harder the better. And then we'll wrap it up again. So there's all the heat and all the moisture that's in that roast can't escape, it'll just stay locked inside. So, we're having a little coffee. We've got a couple of things on charge this morning. Everything. Now, <laughs> between the Patriot and the uh, Land Cruiser, fun little game for you. Guess how many USB outlets we've got between the two. We'll let you know uh, at the end of the episode how many are in there. Winner Actually, no, we won't. We'll winner pick. Gets a prize. Winner gets a prize. All right, Nav loves giving away my sh all right, guess how many uh, USBs there are in the comments below. First person to comment with the correct amount, uh, you'll win a hundred dollar voucher for the Explore Life online store. Get around it, and uh, we'll pick we'll pick the winner. Happy days. All right, so I'm just going to run the car back up, which is dangerous. No flicking without me. <laughs> I promise I won't flick. <laughs> He's going to catch a barrel while I'm parking the car. All right, now I'm just going to run this back up to our camp. I'm just going to rip it around there, then we can jump in. Well, we'll probably throw that roast in. Yep. If you're going to throw the roast in, I'll just hold the boat at the bank. <laughs> you can't trust this bloke. Never trust a cowboy in a black hat, they reckon. <laughs> Oh, bloody nav, I tell ya, I knew he was going to do this. I'm literally like, right from the boat ramp, just up the way, and of course nav, he went left. He went left, he's trying to have a sneaky little flick without me. I've been stood down there at the water waiting. Patriot's got a little uh, home base in her. Nav, you on, you on channel? Oh, shit out of me. Yep, yep on channel. <laughs> You know we're right from the boat ramp, mate, not left. Left? Upstream, or was it left downstream? <laughs> Put your rod down and come and get me, you bastard. You know what, you're right. I did turn the wrong way. I must have, I've, I think I've got a fair way down the creek too, so it'll probably be another five minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm heading down to the water. Go on. Perfect, go left. Cheeky, cheeky bugger. Hey! <laughs> Hurry up! There we go with this bloke. He's using my bloody rod as well. Cheeky, cheeky bugger. Oh, nice you to show up, mate. Hurry up, get in, hurry up. <laughs> you want to put this roast on or what? Oh, yeah, roast. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> good. That's some nice coals. That is some very good coals there. That hard wood, all this wood is that red iron wood or iron bark that you get around the rivers here. It's, it's the best stuff because it stays as hot coal. Straight on that. There's, right. there's a lot of heat in that. There's a lot of heat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a guide to just know where the roast is so I don't hit it when I'm digging down. Well, I've cooked a lot of different roasts over the years. Uh, plenty of camp oven roasts but I've never actually buried one in the ground. So, pretty excited about this. There was a lot of heat in those coals, so. 
there was a lot of heat. I'm not skeptical, but I don't think it, it's going to need to be in there all day. So the all day part is not the cooking part, though. It's, this no, first, this is just this first 20 minutes will brown the or darken the outside. Yeah, and then the and slow then, cook is what gets yeah. it going. And then this cold the dirt will suck out a lot of that heat over the next 20 minutes, and yep. it will pull right down to around 90 to 100 degrees and stay at that because once the soil's taken up all the heat it can, it'll kind of hold and then yep. it just stays at a very slow temperature all day. Now ideally you do this with a big slab of meat, not a Yeah, little, I like to do it with like a three or four kilo roast. Yeah. Bigger the better because then you can just, can, you can, it's quite, you don't want to overdo it with a small roast, but yep. it's only take a small hole. There still was a lot of coals though, but. Oh well. So there we go. We'll go for a fish. We're gonna let this chill out all day, come back and... Um... Just make sure, sorry, just to make sure you gotta completely cover that with, you can't put too much dirt on top. You wanna make sure there's no heat escaping. You know, if there's smoke coming out of it, put more dirt on. Even if you go and collect dirt from somewhere else, pile it up. All right, let's go for a fish, come back and we'll, we'll see if this is any good or not. I'll back it, I'll back you. How good is this? Even if you don't get any fish, this is just absolutely beautiful. It actually kind of reminds me of um, sort of paddling through like Lawn Hill Gorge, actually. Stunning. Don't touch me, Rod, mate. Oh, it's your rod. Don't touch Sorry. me, Rod. Jeez. All right, we're just going to mosey down. There might be a little bit of current. Yeah, You That's bastard! Oh, it's only just on the lip too. Oh, we don't have a net. We don't have a net. That is a serious situation. Why do we not have a net? Just How are we going to get it in? Under his gills, under his gills. Under the gills, yeah. Isn't that where the... No. He's gone. Nav dropped him. <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> not having a net is such a situation for casting barra. That was, that was my fault. He's under his first oh, barra. No, not a barra. Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's one of those friggin' Saratoga weird looking things. Saratoga. <laughs> 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 look at that. Fish. It's beautiful. Look at that. Nice pink. Saratoga. That's my first that Saratoga. Is that is a beautiful fish. Beautiful colorations yeah, on this thing. Pink. Look at the size of the gob. We're going to send him on his way. Yeah. See you, mate. It's a big one. Direct it. Oh! Yes. Now we can chop. Barra in the boat. It's That's on the board. Barra in the boat. 55 it come up as. Definitely not as big as the one that I dropped of Navs, but they're here, they're feeding, that's great news. That's three fish within half an hour. What a stunner. We'll let this guy go. A little, little freshwater crocodile. We've been dead a while. Well, we've been wondering uh, for a while now how many crocs you reckon are in here. There's obviously freshies in here. Yeah, that was a bit of freshies, a given, but yeah. we couldn't see any on the bank, couldn't see any slides. But that dead one's a bit of a giveaway that they're definitely here. We knew. Yeah, we knew there was going to be freshies. We knew there was going to be freshies. Just, just a question of salties. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to we ask are, Simon. We are anyway. a long way from the coast. A long it's way. A long way. Saltwater crocs can go in the fresh, but yeah. there's a long way up. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what it'll Simon be, says. 100k, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's a long way. It goes right out to west, to east nice. Arnhem Land. Yeah. So. Oh well. Freshies in here for sure. Yeah. Bloody I'll Nav! Come up and I'll, hoof it. I finally get a big barra come up, and oh. Nav comes in and oh. snakes it. Here he is. Oh, work, yeah! Come on! Come on, bro, man. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe you took my barra! That was so he funny. literally took that straight. Oh, he come up, he grabbed mine, dropped didn't that. hook, and he dropped his lure straight in. <laughs> I dropped my lure straight when Matty lost it. Oh, bang. you bastard. He come up and heard that clap underwater. Hey, that, that thud. Well I, well, I guess they're still biting. We're fishing all day. <laughs> that was a good fish. Well done. I can't believe you snaked that.
<laughs> you. Right, -o, so we've come as far as we can go because we found some little rapids. But uh, we're not going to let that stop us. We're going to have a crack at going upstream. This could be interesting. All right. <laughs> we're on the barrel hole. It paid off. He's a big fish. Oh, oh no! Oh! That's another 80. I hooked that up again. That was a big one. This is the barrel hole. We knew there was going to be barrel up here. We pushed over the bloody rapids. I thought and I there was a, a stonker earlier too. sat here. Oh, he ain't going to bite again. He's off it. He's going home. You're only single kidding. Hook, only single hook too, so no troubles on that. Well, we've finally seen our first alive uh, freshie. He's just parked up on a little bit of a log over here. And um, yeah, he's just catching a couple of afternoon, afternoon rays. Good on him. This should be a fun bit, Nav. Motor up. All the way down. And then lift the, lift the motor get and just run down. Log, get straight tipped down. under the log. Get nah. washed out the boat. No, she'll be right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Anti-climax. Oh, that's not the way we want to go down. Oh. <laughs> Three! Always tip the boat sideways. It's that went exactly, exactly to plan, almost, almost exactly, almost so close to being to plan. It's a good sign, baby. Oh! God! <laughs> no! They're all three big ones have got us today, haven't they? Oh! Oh! That is a great one! Oh. Oh. Oh, Cannot get a big one in the boat! Oh. oh, that's upsetting. It's a nice big, big open area here. Has to be a big fish in here. Bang. On. Alright, we'll drill back through on the way up. Yep. That is a big one. That is a big one. That's a big one. Come on, Maddie. Keep it on. That's definitely an 85 centimetre barra. Oh, that's a great size barra. Here he comes. On you, get him in. That's it. Yes! yes. yes. That's a monster! Yes! Oh, yes! You're funny. Funny. Got you. Yeah. You beat me! Yes. He's 80. Oh, on the dot. Oh, just... Yes, baby! Finally! Finally got the job done. Good beauty. See you, mate. Woo! On. Yeah, Navi. Good work, brother. Good work. Woo! Well, what a day. What a day. What a day. That was literally what dreams are made of. That's why we come all the way out here to have a crack at some bar and uh, did not disappoint. More than 10 bar in the boat. Saratoga. Got plenty of stunkers though. Uh, catfish, black brim. Archerfish. Archerfish. <laughs> um, so four different species. Oh, could not be more stoked. And to yeah. top it off. Hopefully the roast is good and not just one black let's go, charcoal. Let's go find out if Nav's done a good job on this roast or if he's butchered it. <laughs> I reckon it's going to be the goods, mate. I'm excited. What time is it? Hey. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, she's soft. She's shrunken down a bit. <laughs> 
All right. Let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go. Forgot to do any veggies. You don't need veggies for roast, do you? We're just having roast for dinner. Yeah. That's alright, there's nothing on that. We've been waiting all day for this bloody thing. Eight hours in the hole. Roast. Oh, it's so good! You're joking. That just. Oh, that just apart. pulls That'll apart. That'll be that hot. Too hot. Alright, moment of truth. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, you're joking. That just falls apart. I'm going in. It'll be hot. <laughs> Ooh, that's good, eh? Hot. Really hot. The best you can run the ground would be a whole shoulder blade. So take the bowl of roast off and put the shoulder blade under, or like a rump that's got natural fats and stuff through it Ooh. so that it keeps it nice and oily and juicy. I'll tell you what. It's good, it's good, eh? After a day, literally seven no hours of fishing. Get off the boat, unwrap and eat. Do yourself a favour. Bit of bread and butter. Give this a crack. Next time you're out bush, dig yourself a little hole, throw a couple of hot rocks in there, wrap it up nice and good, bang her in there for eight hours. And, uh, yeah, what do you reckon? Let us know in the comments. Did Nav nail it? I reckon he's done a bloody good job, actually. <laughs> Since we forgot the veggies, all we're doing... Loaf of bread, a bit of butter, salt, pepper, and if we had thought about it, you could whip up a gravy, pour a bit of gravy over this, and you'd be... A bit of onion gravy. You'd be laughing. Right, so a couple of uh, episodes ago, you would have seen me uh, at, what was it, gunpoint, and I tried to get some fire sticks using the beach hibiscus. Um, the stuff that we had was a bit too old, so it just uh, crumbled away, basically. So I went and picked a green one. It's now been... Yeah, a few, quite a few days later, so hopefully it's dry enough. We'll see if we can get this, um, show you how to start a fire with it. So what I've done is just taken that little notch out of there. And I'm just going to drill in to here, like this. Hopefully, all the hot stuff will come out of there and we can start a fire with it. What I'm going to do is just want to imprint, get that, get it sitting in place. Jesus. That took a bit of effort. All right, now we let that grow, there's no rush. Otherwise, you're gonna drop it off there. As you can see, we want that to grow to the full size. Let him go, let him, let him go. What we do, here's what I call a bird, what we call a bird's nest. And I've got roo poo in there, or wallaby, wallaby poo because that's the same sort of consistency, which means this can grow to that size and then catch the grass on fire. All right, gently put them in there. And now, we help them grow. When I get my breath back, what you're gonna do is just blow to keep it glowing. If you blow too hard, you blow it straight out. You just wanna keep it red. If it's not going red enough, it means you're not blowing hard enough. have it. Fire! Then you get your sticks. Your grass. Put sticks on top of him. Your grass is to help it go. There you have it, fire using traditional method, beach hibiscus does work. This skill takes a lot more work than bow drill, but can be done. Bottom, 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 bottom. Oh. Last one. Boom, 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 boom. Right, surely that should have it. Slow, slow, slow. 
Let me see if any, any smoke consistently coming. <sighs> That's good punk too. Hold a sec, hold a sec. There's, there's too much coming out here, which means there's something going on. Where the f is that ember? There's an ember there, don't move. There's one there, don't move. Don't move. Oh my god, I think. Oh, you've got one. I'm like, just leave it, let it grow. No way, first go, that's rubbish. It's not that easy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you did a really good job. Takes your breath away, hey? See how that'll just grow? That's just getting bigger and bigger. And now, I've got my roux pile ready to go. My fingers are blistered. Yeah, blister up. She's a leaf. She's a leaf. Just knock them off. Slide them off gently. The whole lot. Everything with it. The whole lot. Yep. It'll all grow. Yep. Perfect. That's it, blow until it glows and then you just keep that pressure. Nice long steady breath, that's it. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> that's a load. Yeah. Oh, that's a big blister. <laughs> yes. That's good work. That is a massive, massive blister. <laughs> I'll use another hand because this one is cooked. Look at that. I've um, trained hundreds of soldiers uh, in the army to try and get that. And I've actually given them the materials just like I did to Maddie for them to learn before they have to go and find their own materials. And it's very rare that they actually get it, um, even with materials I've given. So to have Maddie have a go, I mean, he just kept going to rip his hand apart, but um, no, really impressed actually. Good work, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got a full blister and torn it apart, but that's right. You just got to keep that downward pressure and. I don't like being. Some out people now. take a, a while to get the <laughs> technique. It's not just the downwards pressure. You've got to make sure that you, it's actually got enough pressure on the stick to be able to push down and then consistent. Yeah, good work. It's good fun. Obviously, you've got to find the right materials, but um, beach hibiscus. But uh, right. we did let this dry out for like a, a, almost mm. a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That wasn't easy. Cheers, brass. <laughs> well, after an absolutely stellar day, and uh, oh, that was fun. We went for a little good. night run in the boat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tur turtles everywhere, friggin' so many turtles. Yeah. It was actually crazy. Still the fish, uh, plenty of archer f fish floating around, and then uh, we did see a seventy centimeter barrel uh, on the rock bar. Right on the rock bar, which two, pretty, one on the way up cool. and one on the way down. If they were salt water ones, we would have oh, put a spear gun through it, spear them. Oh. But um, yeah, epic day. The stars are absolutely incredible. So we ended up running back a little bit then. Just like under the moon, which was pretty cool slash dangerous. There's only one dent in the prop. <laughs> <laughs> prop. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're about to crack into a game of uh, cards. It gets a little bit fierce, so we're going to put the camera down. Using jets as our <laughs> chips. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Happy days. Good morning. Good morning. Alright. Maddie, Maddie's still hell bent on getting the metery barra. Sun's out. We're going to see if we can hook up. Are you going to go trawling today or flick again? Um, let's go for a trawl. We, we just had a nice well. little morning coffee. I reckon we'll just go for a trawl. We're only yeah. about an hour. We're actually yeah. going to punch up today. We're going to head up to the yards. Cattle yards, that is. The cattle yards. Find, um, station find, owner. find the station owner. So we'll probably go up and lend a hand. I don't want to get in the way, but... Yeah. Oh, she said, yeah. It'd be good fun. Not going to knock back a hand, she said. So <laughs> we'll enjoy the yeah. peaceful morning before we're getting sweaty, sweaty and it's smelly. Gonna and, oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Stay around for that bit. Right, <laughs> in the meantime, let's catch a fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Keep the tension on. It's coming up. There it goes. Big oh. fish. Oh, we said it was a big girl coming up. 
Get it, grab it. Oh, it's a piece. Oh, it's a piece. Oh, it's a piece. Oh, yes! Yeah, Navi! Oh, that's right! Oh, you're so blister! Woo! Doing a bit yesterday's record. Mate, what was yesterday? I think that's a winner, right? 80 was yesterday. 80. On the dot. I actually got an 85 there. 83. Well, hang on, pull it tight, mate. Steady on. Oh, steady on. <laughs> She's an 83. 82, 83. Good fish! Nah, take our biggest fish. Not yet. What a stunner. Second fish of the morning too, second fish. Alright, I'll send him on his way. See you later. Second fish of the morning. Fish on. Barra! It's not bad either here. That's a good fish. Oh. Maddie, big. that's a big one. That might be the barra oh. of the day, Maddie. Ready, stay this side, stay this side. Ready, as it's come this way, and one, two, three. Oh. Yeah! Oh, that is a big, that is a big you've barrel. got it. I think you've got the barrel of the day. That is a big oh. barrel. We wanted one more before we go, no. Mate, we just got it. That's, that's 85.90. Good work. Fat barrel. Can you get the tape measure out? 86, 80. 85, 86, 85. Good work. There he goes. Woo! Yeah! Well done. What a way to finish the most epic little remote barra spot we've ever been to. I don't know how many barras we got in the boat. Probably about 20. Woo! That's a wrap <laughs> on the wrap. old secret barra spot. That was a, geez, did it. What a session. Form. Oh mate. So real massive shout out to uh, Neil who uh, Neil. sent us out here and Simon because Simon Station. Yeah, Simon right. and Lauren for having us out. Yep. Unreal. But uh, the fun part's over. Now we're going to well, have some more fun. More fun in the cattle yards. We're going to run up the cattle yards, see if they need a hand. Yep. And um, yeah. Just, just been mustering all day yesterday. So they said they're going to start drafting today, which is where they sort all the cattle out. Big, small, fat, skinny. Run through maddie. the yards. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, like, this fit skinny bloke like me then, one way that and then we truck the lazy old ones like Nav go the other way. <laughs> then we truck him tomorrow morning, we can put Matt on a truck so we can sell him for a hundred bucks or so. <laughs> Alright, let's go. with the yards over here and then they've got the um all their a bit of equipment that they use all neatly lined up some of the ball catchers here that they are uh, you see one here with an arm on it that's for catching balls and then they've got these ones here they use for mustering bloody polaris is that calls this Clean skin, so it means he hasn't been branded yet. He's never come into the yards since his first time, so hasn't been branded, hasn't had his horns cut off or his nuts cut off, so that's why he's a little bit frightened and a bit fresh because he hasn't been in the yard before.
we go. All done and dusted, so we drafted the cattle off. The truck's fully loaded, and they're gonna go back to a yard closer towards the homestead there. So, so a couple of epic days fishing, massive shout out to them. Yep. A couple of hours in the yards to uh, say thank you. Bloody good fun, but it's good. You're just living in the, the whole time, pure dust. That basically brings a wrap to this little uh, top end adventure. It's been a hell yeah. of a trip. Oh, Cape mate. York down to Fink, so Uluru, and then all the way through NT. So hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, stay tuned. Find out where we're going next. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. That'll do. Till next time. Get out and enjoy the explore life. Very good. You on? Yep. <laughs> He's having a shocker of an afternoon. Did you have 10 beers at lunch when I wasn't looking or something? Have a go at it. I don't really like the big skinny steers, you know. He's like one of those big bulls that just are no good. They're fat and healthy, but just not breeding, you know. You still talking? <laughs> We've got that mackerel from yesterday, or from the other day. So we got taco seasoning, Fresh Mackey for uh, for lunch. That's going on. A couple of neighbours are coming to say good day. Here you go, mate. Hey, oh, fish on me hands. Yes. All right, mate. Taco wraps, fish wraps. He definitely undersold it. It's good, isn't it? Mm. We might have won that competition if we use this. Oh yeah. Why didn't we do that? I don't know why you didn't. You were running the show. Damn it. <laughs> we're definitely going to go flip the rod. What do you think I am, stupid? If I drove the car, he would be flicking the rod. Yesterday, he was flicking the rod 20 metres away from the bank. He was running towards the bank like this. Coming in? Yeah, yeah he's still going to come in. He's going to jump at the boat. Keep attention on, keep attention on. What the hell? Cabby. Oh, I've got a bloody catfish. You grunty dog. Get that thing away from me. Grubby, grubby catfish. Got me all excited after just dropping two horse barra.